question. Can we address um, a really common question, and it's whether or not taking your supplements breaks your fast? Um, very, very common question. And um, is it okay to take supplements on an empty di- on an empty stomach? Um, well, good. Two two good questions. So, having experimented on myself for over a decade, I don't see that drinking a little bit of just add water or taking a, a couple of spoonfuls, maybe three teaspoons of coconut-based yogurt in the morning with my polyphenols, resveratrol, quercetin, physique, and other three ones I mainly do. I don't see them as breaking a fast, okay? And having watched myself and measured myself, it doesn't do any harm. Um, and it, it's actually necessary for me to get through the day and you do what's necessary, okay? And, um, and so while I may have a little bit of protein in my body from the yogurt and from uh, just add water it goes away pretty quickly and my blood sugar doesn't go up which is my main goal mm-hmm. the blood sugar levels are the key really yeah so, um, you don't want those spikes in the morning and then you get hungry at lunchtime and then you eat again that'll make you energetic and then a brain fog and be tired and then you're hungry again that cycle is i've done that most of my life and it's a nightmare now that i have my lifestyle and the type of foods i eat i power through the day and my glucose levels are steady because my liver is much smarter at putting out glucose than my eyes and my mouth are. And, yeah. uh, and let your liver take care of you during the day and then feed yourself later in the day. That's my advice. Yeah, and there's, you know, and I think if you can wait until you are um, you are having a bit of food yeah. in your diet and um, you're not taking supplements that have to be taken earlier in the day, then maybe wait and take it then so you're not on an empty stomach. Uh, And it it also sounds like you sometimes you have to sort of experiment as well. I don't have a problem taking supplements on an empty stomach. I take my supplements with my matcha, you know, in the morning and and my tummy's fine. I have no problems with it, but that's my body. So everyone's body's a little bit. Yeah, I I don't like taking supplements on an empty stomach usually because Mm -hmm. especially at night, they sit in my stomach and make me feel a bit sick and I don't sleep that well. Right. Um, so I like to have them. I have some in the morning and then mm-hmm. before bed, I have some, but I try not to eat them, take them too late. And that's worked much better for me. Um, yes. oh, somebody, somebody said something important, which is uh, breaking a fast is different to breaking ketosis. Ketosis is when yes. your body has switched from using carbohydrates uh, to protein and fat for energy, mainly fat. Mm-hmm. And um, my body doesn't change that. I'm still in ketosis, even if I eat a tiny bit of food or a little bit of the nutritious drink. Yeah, yeah, and and I that's such a it's something really good to point out as we were talking about as we were talking earlier when it comes to fasting. Um, I know that ketosis is a goal, uh, but again, for women, you want to be mindful because if you're in uh, ketosis and extreme ketosis for too long a period of time, then you'll produce more reverse T3, which can affect your thyroid, it affects your hormones. And so um, for the women out there, just just be a little bit more mindful about it and check your body um, and check your levels if you are kind of implementing fasting into your lifestyle and how long you fast and when you fast during the time of the month. Uh, and, and, um, and also know that during different weeks of the month, you do want to incorporate certain, say, like um, uh, starches, resistant starches, certain carbohydrate, carbohydrates that are good for you when you are fasting during your eating window. 